folks, it's Kerry, 401k Dexters here. It is Saturday, uh, right before the polar vortex is supposed to come in and hit Northeast Texas. So supposedly in Oklahoma right now, it's in the teens. And here in another hour or so, it's gonna peak out at about 48 degrees and then plummet from there. It's supposed to get down into the single digits here in Texas um, Sunday. Monday and continue into Tuesday. So I have babied these turnips you see over my shoulder here for the last uh, I think three months. I probably should have started them about three to four weeks earlier but uh, I've got my uh, colanders out, the shovels out and I'm gonna start taking a look and see what we got. All right. So starting down here on the end, you can see we've got about radish size turnips. Some of them are a little bigger, but uh, we'll take a look at them, get some cleaned up, get them in the colander and take a picture. All right, got my sidekicks here. Oh, uh, you're okay. Got this first row taken out, and uh, here are the different sizes. There's a pair of shears just to kind of give you a, a uh, an idea. Got some decent sized ones here, fit in your palm. A lot of them about the size of a radish, but uh, I've also heard the smaller, the uh, less strong the turnip taste is. Now the turnip texture is somewhat between a radish and a cabbage and Linda seems to think that the taste leans more towards the cabbage what we're gonna do is take these clean them all up cube them and then blanch them and freeze them and put them in the freezer for this winter but uh, one row down and three to go so it looks like we're getting a nice little harvest out of our first try of turnips Okay, so here we go. Here is the harvest. We had four total rows that were about 20 feet long. Um, this is what the turnips look like as they came out of the ground. They've got a leafy part that looks like a dandelion almost. And I just cut the ends off and cut the greens off. Um, here probably are the largest sized ones a uh, couple observations I had was the larger turnips came for the southernmost, no, leave it, southernmost row in the garden. Um, if the seeds were planted too low, they didn't get a nice purple top on them, but uh, if they were planted just about the right height, the purple top was about 50% like you can see on some of these. So uh, all in all, for the first time on turnips, I think we did fairly well. We'll get these all cleaned up, get them inside, get them blanched and in the freezer. All right, hope you guys enjoyed our uh, turnip harvesting. And uh, we guys will check you later. 401k Dexters, out. All right, so we go from a peeled turnip <clears throat> to a cubed turnip into the boiling water for two minutes then into an ice bath for another two minutes and ziploc and put it in the freezer and we are going to have plenty of turnips for 1k dexters out <laughs>